And today I have uh, just a question we're going to just briefly explore. It's uh, probably something we could analyze deeper, so I don't want to overthink it too much. But the question is, is the market changing? So um, I think everyone's always looking to uh, just keep an eye on things, but we particularly want to keep our clients' best interests in mind. And so I have three things I just want to share with you today that we've kind of noticed in group huddles that I've, that I've been talking to different agents about. So I want to share those with you. And the first one is, is the number of listings going up. The number of listings are going up. Part of that is seasonal. Um, this time of the year is, is, is common to see more people start to list their homes as they prepare to move during end of spring and early summer. So not uncommon to see more homes come on the market. But the question is, is this, uh, is this uh, something that's market driven? Like are more people looking to, move, looking to move Boise or are more people just moving within Boise? And additionally, is this pent up demand? So we don't know how many people who last March um, may have had plans to move and because of COVID decided to hold off on moving. And maybe now they're looking at the market again and going, okay, now it's time for us to move and it feels safe to move. So anyway, it's interesting to watch listings go up. And again, part of that seasonality, just it's common at this time of the year to see listings going up. Um, if you look at the chart, you can see uh, last year, it's more like February, this thing is start to uh, really pop up in terms of the number of listings. But really it's just been in the last three weeks here locally uh, this year that we've seen things starting to move upwards. So pretty interesting that way. Uh, and the second thing I want to point out is just, again, in talking to different agents, it seems like they've noticed a few homes are starting to take a little longer to actually sell. So there's more days on market. So without, again, I don't want to overthink that, but is days on market increasing because things are slowing down? Is days on market increasing because we're starting to get to more normality? Or are our expectations just crazy? Um, do people expect their home to sell within hours or just like the first weekend it's on the market? So uh, the fact that things are actually taking longer is probably a more healthy sign for the marketplace. But um, is the market going to slow down from 100 miles an hour down to 98 miles an hour? So still a super strong market, still more buyers than sellers. But it's interesting to note that some things that you would have might have thought just would sell instantly or over the weekend are still on the market. So we've, we've experienced that ourselves in a couple of different listings we've had over the last month. And the third thing that, um, or actually I have a chat chart that just shows, if you look at the chart I put on the screen here, you can see at the very tail end that um, things are changing as well. So, and the third thing I wanna talk about is price reductions. So um, in, in the group that I was talking with, again, several of them noted that there had been several price reductions and that's not something you would expect to see in a hot market. So again, I don't want to overthink what that may mean to everyone. Um, there's lots of different reasons that could happen, but the fact that it is happening is something to pay attention to. So the question would be, is the market slowing down? Not really thinking that's the answer. Um, are people's expectations that things should just sell in a matter of hours? Maybe, maybe the people that are selling are, are super motivated or maybe the, uh, the uh, price of them uh, agents knew was regressive and wanted to bring it down to something that would actually uh, comp out. So if they sell it to someone who, who's getting a home loan, it needs to, of course, appraise. So that many times uh, agents may try to find a really uh, special buyer out there who would be an exact fit for the home and make it priced very expensive. But if it needs to go to the marketplace and sell for what it's actually worth, sometimes you would do a price, price adjustment. So anyway, I uh, just want to share today. We're excited to have you guys with us. And again, I, I don't know that anyone's predicting the market is changing dramatically, but there are things going on for sure that are worth paying attention to. And if you're looking to buy or sell, uh, it's good to know all the information, right? So you can make an educated decision. If you'd like to talk more about it in depth, we'd be glad to help you out and answer questions. If you have questions about buying a home or if you'd like to tour a home, please give us a call. We'd be glad to help. And if you're interested in selling your home and seeing what today's marketing looks like and how to expose your home to the most people, with the biggest impressions so you can get the most buyers and the best offers. We'd be glad to help you out. Give us a call. Thank you.